There we go, we're muted, lol. There we go, we're muted, lol. Right. Well done, Will. Thank you. You've saved the stream already. It wouldn't be a stream, would it, if we didn't start fucking muted? Um, we're here, we're off. We should probably make a game, shouldn't we, really? Um, let me show you what I've got so far. If I pop this on this monitor, that's probably the best way of doing it. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, so, look at the button I have, Will. I can press a button to choose which monitor we're showing. Give you mod, sure. How do I give you mod? I can like... Do I have to do it on this? It doesn't say I can. Wait, do I have to slash it? Do I have to type it in? Is that it? Did I do that? Yeah, let's make a game map. Um, are you on Discord, Max? I'm, I could pop in voice with you every now and then. I'll probably do the same with you, Will, just to keep me company. Have a few characters on board. I've left the thing open here, right? Okay, right. Hello. We have a cool button here which lets us switch monitor. Look at that. Flick, flick, flick. Um, yeah, let's make a fucking game, shall we? Um, there he is, our moderator, William. I'll show you what I have so far, because I did a little bit of tinkering, because I didn't want to waste everyone's time with stupid shit. So thanks to Matt, we've got a nerf gun working. So we can now shoot. Um, this was just a pain in the arse to set up, so thank you, Matt, for doing that. This is from a previous game jam we made. The, the pistol's actually from real life. I'll bring it to tomorrow's stream, but we have, like, um, we have this gun in real life. So this was made by James Thurwell, this gun. Um, he doesn't know he's donated it to the stream, but he has. Um, and the sound effect is actually from from the actual gun. We recorded it. Um, all right, cool, Matt. Well, we'll catch you at the end. And then I spent a little bit of time getting, as you can see, we've got a timer at the top. That's actually way more of a pain in the arse than you'd think to get working. And I'll, I didn't really fancy spending, I don't know, so ages trying to get that to work right so we've got those two things in place already and yeah we're gonna jump over to 3ds max uh, after we've maybe blocked out a couple modular pieces for it so if you can't tell we're gonna when we move like we gradually increase in momentum so obviously turning slows it down unless you like keep this the movement super sharp i'm sure someone will find an exploit right they normally do um but yeah so let's um Let's um, block something out. So I wanna, I wanna see what different sized floor planes look like in terms of how easy they are to jump on and things like that. So we'll move this up here. There's probably a quicker way of doing that. Any Unreal Engine gods, by the way? Like I don't really use Unreal Engine very much. So if anyone has like hotkeys and stuff that's useful to me definitely tell me because i'm gonna love you if you can do that so we'll start up here obviously this won't be the level but it will be it'll do for blocking out right so um how do i unpin this oh yeah so if i make a cube and we're gonna test a few different scales so i'm assuming this is meters right unreal engine works in meters i'm hoping it does so we're gonna do four meters oh, that looks like what the platform currently is right so if we do Maybe five meters is going to be a nice little baseline. Let's pop that there. And just see what that's like to, to run on. Because I'm going to make like a modular kit in 3ds Max in a minute. That seems a little bit narrow. But that's the point, right? Maybe a five by five meter thing would be pretty cool. And then make like a two by two meter one. Um, I feel like that's a nice amount of room to play with. So yeah, I'm feeling the five by five meter, nice and narrow as well. So let's hop over to 3ds Max and um and let's crack on with that. So if we switch monitors here, and um, we'll go over to Max. So yeah, let's actually uh, you know what I fancy modeling on this monitor. Let's bring this over. So I'll pop you guys over there, and we'll make a box. So we're gonna make a box that's um. 
probably want to change our units to meters. This is a fresh install of 3ds Max, by the way, and it's also Max 2022. So, those of you who like Max, um, you're gonna get a chance to see Max 2022 in action here. Oh, off to a flying start here. My middle mouse is goosed. Um, let's change that. Where's my uh? <laughs> I've got a spare mouse on standby for when this inevitably happened, so if I just grab that. I don't know why, but my middle mouse has just been a dick recently. It just has. It happened when I was, like, just perusing in Max one time, and it's just like, yeah, you can't rotate anymore, bro, and I'm like, what? So if I take this, this mouse, give me, come here, and then I take this. Nice. Sod that mouse off, we don't need that anymore. We have backups for everything here. Okay. Nice, we now have a mouse that works, so we can actually model, guys. So the middle mouse, there you go, we're off. So let's go. So we've got a 5x5 five five here. I think what's a pretty safe bet to start with is just chucking a chamfer modifier on it. You can't really go wrong with a chamfer modifier, let's be honest. Um, let's, let's pull that in. Oh, there you go. That's more like it. Let's try the different chamfers out. Let's see what we got. I forgot what I usually use. So I have like a custom one usually. That could be quite neat. Maybe a 2. It's looking like 0.25 could be good. For like chamfer size. So my plan is to basically make a load of these and then make them all modular, right? So the, these are going to be like giant pads. So anyone who's played or seen Fall Guys, like the kind of style, I think, we're not sure yet, is going to be similar to that. Um, so we'll just see, right, as we go. So if we chuck this there, so that, that would be that. So this would be negligible in collision. I don't really mind having that little seam there. It's going to be just an aesthetic thing, but we'll keep the collision like square. So, like, if we go into here, yes, Carl, they are. This is this is the way of the box. Only true box modelers would know. So we'll copy this. This is what's cool. We can just do that and then chamfer this. Chuck that on. I mean, I don't know why that's not letting me see. Oh, it's because it was on thingy, wasn't it? I see. Interesting. Why is it only like, it should let me preview the whole thing. It's because I'm on edge selection, but the new Max is fucking whack, man, honestly. They've already ruined it. Where's my dialogue box gone? What the hell? Do you have to use this stupid thing? No, it, it's genuinely just doing that to me. How weird. Okay, whatever. So we'll do... We'll do a 4 meter sized chamfer. Considering the asset itself is 5x5. Five five. And then... Now we've got this corner piece, right? So... If we were in Unreal, we could do that. So my goal is anyone here who's a game developer, we can have like, you can just take one of these pieces, right? And like, I'll just give you this file and you can build your own obstacle built into it. So there'll be certain platforms that are like bigger and smaller. So that's an idea as to how that would, how this one would work here. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So that's not bad for a start. <laughs> it's pretty simple, but if I can make like a decent sized kit, it's just going to make my life so much easier. And we'll have like a couple of materials that we can work with as well. So, um, let's delete that. want to make sure these are all editable polys on their surface. Okay. What other pieces should we have? I'm trying to think what, what would be useful. <laughs> Um, so we have a corner, a straight, oh, a ramp could be fun, couldn't it? Um, 
Why don't we make like um, one that goes up like this? So if we do that. And then, hmm, we'll make like a shallow ramp and then a steep ramp. So that would be like a shallow ramp. Yeah, there you go. And then we can make like a steep ramp. So if we put that there and go into object. And I've made that one bloody thing, haven't I? Detach that. Detach. I wonder what colours we should have. Time will tell what colours we end up with, but I'm not really sure. So if I double stack this now. So now we have two ramp sizes. Interesting. I imagine we'll probably want like a wide variant for all of these as well. So I'll probably make like these the five by fives. I'll probably make seven and a half meters as well. So maybe we should add, add a wide boy. Let's do it. So what? what's this? This is five by five by five so if i change that last one to a one and change the width to i don't know do we do 10 maybe we do 10 what does 10 look like in editor show me 10 no you div 10 10 by 5 by 1. So that's basically what we're working with right now in Max. How does that feel in game? That feels pretty good to be fair. I want to keep the, the horizontal lines all 5 meters apart because that way it will help keep the sense of speed that you're getting consistent. And um, we could also have like a branch, right? So obviously these are 5 by 5s, but Maybe we do do a 10 one. So, um, if we just grab these verts here and then just move them. There we go. So now we've got that. Let's look at how we can transition between these two because that's obviously going to be super important, right? So, if we take this and we'll make this as our transition piece so we'll actually copy we'll copy that we'll copy that over here and we'll take that and we'll work isolated okay this will make life a bit easier so center that center that and then we'll align that to that move that out i don't know probably around Let's let's keep it consistent, right? So we'll we'll go like this. And then maybe we can be clever about it and just move that in. Delete that. Attach that. Oh. Trying to use hotkeys at work. I'm gonna have to use the old fashioned way. That's sad. Okay, cool. Bridge. Pull that in. Pull that in. Okay, nice. So if we now smooth this out.
grow that. I'm waiting for someone to tell me that I've got too many end guns. So then I have to inform them that I don't. So there we go, we've got this piece now. So we have a piece that transitions us between those two now. Which is pretty nifty actually, that's going to come in very useful. And obviously that works both ways, right? So we can use that on either side. And um, probably want more corner pieces, probably want like um, a long corner. So let's do that. So um, let's move this in the X axis by five. <laughs> yeah, legit. Uh, I'm just waiting for the day that someone tells me my end guns are too powerful for them to deal with. That that looks useful. I'm not sure why or how, but yes, Mini, how you doing, bro? I'm good, man. Today we're. I don't know if you've seen it on. Um, is anyone in chat right now not aware of what I'm doing? Because. If you're not, you probably should be, and I'll I'll tell you if you are, like, what this stream's actually about. Oh, you're ill, dude. Oh, damn, bro. I hope you're alright. Is it? It's not COVID, is it? Just the normal illnesses. There we go. That's a nice little kit, isn't it? Do you reckon we um, keep this a bit more interesting, this one? Oh my god, I'm going to keep doing that, aren't I? My hotkey at work is um, to detach is, uh, sorry, to do pretty much everything is C. So this is going to get pretty messy. If I cap that, and I'll sham for that, that should, yeah, there you go. I don't know whether to make those separate or one piece, to be honest. I don't really know how to texture this either. I mean, obviously we're going to just use flat materials. I ain't unwrapping this. Um, we could use decals and stuff at the end, but... Yeah. Things have been good, man. We've just been cracking on. Sorry to hear that you've been ill, though. What's the... um? Just gonna make these a bit wider. Um, minus five. Right, anyone who's um not aware, this is a we are doing this for charity. The donation rewards isn't for me, it's for um we're doing this for mental health, so yeah, if anyone um wants to donate. The buttons are down below. Um, let's make like long variants of these as well. Ooh, maybe. Should I make them as I go? I don't know. Also, what should be my pivot rule? I don't really know what, what the best. Probably the front middle. Thank you, Morella Ella, for accidentally following. Um, yeah, this is a... Don't forget, guys, this is a, a live stream for the... Um, what's the name of the charity? Mind, of course, it's Mind. Um, they were doing some great work. They help support people with mental health problems and stuff. So we're trying to raise money for them. There's plenty of information on the... The, um, the link in the description. I, I, I do know it all, it's just I'm concentrating. But if you want to head over to the Just Giving page in a different tab um, and have a little nose at that and maybe even drop a donation if you're feeling it. Um, it's not for me, I'm not begging for money. It's for um, it's for a really good cause. So Send that. Drop that. It's bloody warm, you know. I knew this was going to happen. Need to take this off. Payday not hit for me, unfortunately. Oh, damn. Oh, 
payday was today for us. So if anyone watching works with CIG, cough it up. Especially you, Will. Come on. Um, right. Thanks, Ali, for the follow. She's... How do we do that? Okay, cool. So, what these are are just our like little modular pieces. So we're going to be able to place these down and design. Basically, my my idea is that I make all these now, and then we can design levels in here really quick. So, obviously, this isn't the level. This is just some template things. So, but I feel like it'll be worth the time. Obviously, this seems quite large, but you need to remember we get exponentially quicker as time goes on. Well, you get fast as fuck, boy. And then we have a gun. The idea being that people who aren't very good at games will still be able to enjoy it, right? But people who are, like, insane... You know, there is no skill ceiling to this game. Like, you should be able to, like, completely abuse Unreal en Engine's physics because you will get exponentially faster as time goes on, so... Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing it get broken to be honest. I'm tempted to put a build out like maybe before the end of the of the the deadline, but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe like a really temporary build just to like when we have our first level um just to see how people break it. If we have any people who are consistently hanging around and want to have a go obviously while we're streaming. Um but we'll see how, how that goes. Um this seems like a pretty cool kit to get us started. Um I'm just trying to think what else we might need. Like, otherwise we'll end up back in here straight away. Maybe we just keep doing what we were doing and organize the pivots, right? And then we can we can deal with the rest of it later. Might have to steal a triplane or shader from somewhere. Let's just grab that. I don't know if that's gonna that's probably gonna break an X form, isn't it? No, I think it's okay. We may have gotten away with it. Oh yeah, also guys, so anyone who donates anything really gets to the to the charity. Um we'll put you in the credits for the game. And then anyone who donates like a fiver will um we'll put like a meme in the game for you as well. So, like, if you have a meme, like, your favourite meme or something, as long as it's obviously, like, sent, you know, obviously, don't be a dick. But if you if you have, like, a funny meme and you want it in the, in the game, we're going to have, like, a meme wall at the beginning. So, we'll probably start that towards the end of this stream. I don't know what time it is now. I mean, we've literally been going for 20 minutes and we've already got a modular kit. So, we're probably going to have a lot of time to fuck about, to be honest. So, let's chuck... A default material on this. Damn, we really are running on a fresh version of Max here, guys. Look at this. Uh, when's the deadline? We're gonna get this done by Thursday. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get this done on Thursday. So we're gonna have five hours tonight, five hours tomorrow, and five hours the next. Oh shit, we've had a donation. I didn't even notice. I, I meant to be notified with these things. Sonic, is that you, Carl? <laughs> loop de loop, lol. <laughs> Is that you, Carl? I'm assuming it is. Let me go up. Thank you very much, Carl, if that was you. If it wasn't Carl, you better donate. Nah, I'm joking. If Carl's still here, that is. I don't know why my notification thing didn't go off. Did it appear? Did it just not make a noise? Did anyone see it? I can't have that not working. That's pretty important. Did I just completely miss it? But it is meant to make a noise. I don't know why it didn't. Where the hell's the grid gone? It's meant to be a grid hanging around. There it is. Okay, let's... I wonder if there's a way of, like, bat checks. I think there is if we grab them all. So, 5x5. Five five. Um... Five by ten. 
Um, five corner. Let's do that actually. Five square. That's a good idea. I'll, I'll name it like this. So ten. Oh yeah. That's Ten. Oh fuck! I don't know how to name these because <laughs> I don't. I don't want to name them wrong now and then regret it later. Because the amount of times that happens is unbelievable. Um, ten ramp shallow. Let's call it Tem Ramp Shallow A. There you go. And then we'll call this Ten Ramp Shallow Steep A. That way, if we make other variants, we're not going to ruin ourselves. And then we have five, five Ramp Shallow A. And then five ramp steep A. Eh? Catchy in it. This is game development, guys. And then we have five square. That's a good idea, yeah. Five, ten straight. Um, five corner. And then we'll put a descriptor on that. Tight. Ten corner tight so if we make like long corners we don't need to worry is the phone going off um and then we have five transition 10 there we go we've come up with a naming convention wait we'll call it transition 510 that's a good idea oh no wait no because we're going from 5 to 10 um Hey Dan, nice to see you in action. Salutes for your initiative. Thank you, Morella. Um, yeah, thank you. Did I go to college with you, Morella? It sounds really random, but I only know one Morella. And I um, never came across another one, but yeah, thanks for coming by either way. You did? Oh, cool. I remember. I remember you well. How are you? Are you okay? Oh, God. You may have you were around when I first came up with the idea of this game, but I've never had a chance to do it. What's this mad saxophone <laughs> going on in the background here? Now, if I've if I've done this right, um, so we're gonna call this modular default, and we're gonna chuck this on here, chuck that on there. And we're going to hope. Oh my god, I haven't even saved. I am a nutter. Should probably make a folder on the desktop for this, shouldn't I? See my shit to move folder? That was what was on my desktop before the stream. I just decided to put it all in here to save you guys the pain of seeing it all. Um, Thag Onyx. Thag Onyx. Oh, I'm going to try and... Is that Talon? I'm going to guess. If I've got it wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, Morella and... Yeah, I'm good. I'm um, still making games. Never stops. Um, what's the game called? Momentum. Momentum. And then we're going to call this all um, modular. Okay. Actually, we'll have assets that you organize this properly. And then we'll have modular kit. And then we'll call this modular kit. Save that. Okay, and now we attempt to export all of this without any fucking problems, which I find impossible to imagine doing that, but we're going to give it a go. Momentum, assets, modular kit, and we're going to call this modular kit. And we're just going to hope. We're just going to click this button, and we're going to go do what I normally forget to do. As If Matt's still in the chat, he'll remember this from pretty much every game jam I've ever done with him. 
I always set the units wrong. Absolutely every single time. We always put it into Unreal Engine and I always do it wrong. It's either the X is the wrong way, the Z's the wrong way, something's wrong every single time. Recently tried Datasmith and it worked great for batch export. Well, that would be useful if I knew how to use it. Um, scale factor of 0.254. Fuck it, yeah, let's see how that works. What could possibly go wrong? So what um what are you doing now, Marilla? Are you still making games? Right, we're gonna import in here just because I'm scared of it ruining everything if I do it anywhere else. Turn on the plugin in engine. I'm trying to import. Import to Oh my god, there's a modular kit option now. This is new to me. Let's just see what this does. If this works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Skeletal mesh. Yeah, generate my collision for me, please. Um, and yeah, just, just give me the give me the goods. <gasps> Did it work? Where are they? Show me the good. Is that is it like tiny? I've done it wrong, haven't I? Every single time without fail. Every time, I never fail to get it wrong. I am the I am so consistent at getting that wrong. Right, let's try this again. Do I want to tick a box then? Someone here tell me automatic. But my scenes are meters. Convert scene units converted to what's Unreal Engine? Is it centimeters? It's that in it. Will that work? Thank you, <laughs> everyone popping off in chat. <laughs> this is why we stream these things. One, because we can embarrass ourselves in real time. And two, because we can have the squad sort us out. So. Has it worked? Oh my gosh, it's worked. There it is. Let's make sure the ramps... There they are. Look at that. I believe Blender is actually better than UE4. It is. You can use Blender to make games. Right. In true CIG fashion, have I done... Oh, no, I didn't do Y forward. How rude of me. Right, so if I have the grid and I set this to 100, is that meters now? So does that mean 1,000? 5,000, is that my... Hang on. Oh, no, that's wrong. 500? Oh, shit. I think we've done it, squad. Oh, my God. Okay, so if I put that down... Why isn't it? Oh, it's gone down one. Okay, hang on. Let's try this. Oh my god, look at that. You don't, It's almost like I'm a professional game developer and I should be able to do the most simple task, which is create a modular kit in Unreal Engine. Look at that. And so if I change this to 100, will that... Oh my god. Can you guys believe it? Because I can't. I really didn't expect it to work that quick. So let's set this to 90 degrees. To, yeah, 90 degrees. Let's do 45. Let's treat ourselves. Here we go. Oh my god. Wait. What's happened here? Oh no. It's all gone wrong, guys. We spoke too soon. What's happened here? Unrelated, but I just saw the incense you put down in our sims. <laughs> so anyone who's wondering, that's my girlfriend in the chat. And I, uh, I put incense in our fucking house in the sims. Because <laughs> I'm funny as fuck. Right, I actually, does anyone know why this is? Actually, I could just check, couldn't I? They all seem to be lined up perfectly. I don't understand. So let's go the five transition ten. Oh, oh, I spoke. What do you mean? I need an art review. Someone, look at that. We got someone going the wrong way. the The wrong direction shouldn't really matter though, right? It's the what should matter is everything else. If I change this to ten, though, will it just work? Because maybe I'm just being too, too like. 
this is like low key a game jam so I'm not really too bothered if it's if I need some extra fiddling for certain pieces like this especially ones like this that don't need messing around very much there you go I mean that's kind of crazy how quick that is and I'm guessing the collision works fine for this as well because of um, the nature of it as well let's go into the collision for all these this should all just work it should just work um, let me bring this over for us collision the collision should just be how do I view it uh, okay no I don't want the bump I just want a box just give me a box bro Add box collision. How do I see it? What the hell? You normally just click that, don't you? What a professional fuck up. <laughs> I don't use this witchcraft very often. There you go, look. I think we've done it now. I don't want that weird thing underneath it, though. Look, it's like pillowed. Can I delete that? Oh, there you go, look. Whoever that was that was hating on me. Is it Talon? It must be Talon. No, one's, no one gives me that much shit but talent. Right, okay. So if I go through all these... Will's getting jealous because he gives me more shit and he can't have someone... <laughs> someone else beating him. I need... Um... Oh, shit. Is it UCX? What's what's the type of collision called in this where you can like bring your own collision meshes in? Is it UCX? It's going to be really tough to guess. I don't know, I've already given up. Ready for everyone to exploit the fact that this collision is going to be incorrect. They definitely will. It's LaPonce. Oh, is it? To be honest, I was going to guess that, but he's never been mean to me, Tom, so I just assumed it wasn't him. I just named someone on your team. Oh, right. Forever a mystery. That's such nasty collision. I'm going to have to make my own collision meshes, which should be fine because... Is it UCX? Someone tell me. Does someone here know? <laughs> Collision meshes Unreal Engine. Come on. It's going to tell me. I don't need your... I'm going to come back and look at chat in a minute. And I'm hoping there's a solution in it. It's asking me so many like simple things and I don't know the answers. The first one being, just let me bring in my own collision. I don't, why do I need to use yours? It's gotta be UCX, I remember it. Oh fucking, come on chat, someone give me it. Distant memory, model the collision in max, then export it into Unreal Engine. Yeah, I, that's what I want to do, because here, literally, I can I can go in here, and I can remove the chamfer modifier off everything, and then I've got a collision mesh. Like, that's what I want the collision mesh to be. But, because so I'll just clone everything, but I don't want to... Custom mesh collision Unreal Engine. I think you put like a name in front of it. You put like a suffix in or something like that. You, yeah, here we go. Look, I was right. Open your model in Unreal, go to Collision, UCX name version. Yeah, look, an object can be completely... I love how, like, Will Greenwood, the professional environment artist here, is the one 
Like, no, Will, I don't want, like, the auto-generated one. I've already done that. Look, look, it looks shit. Look at how terrible that is. I want, like, this game's, like, physics, like, exploit central. Like, it's going to be hell. So I need to make sure that I give it my own thing. So do I need to put the hashtags at the end? Or is that just the number? I think that's just the number, isn't it? So if I do... If I clone this, UCX, actually this is, I've got a better idea. If I literally clone all of these, copy, grab them, delete all these chamfer modifiers off it. And then I'm going to use like a batched rename thing. Well, I'm going to try to. If not, I'll just paste it in manually. I should probably check it works on one before I do this, but I'm confident in the system. Okay, so we've got all these now. I don't like how they don't line up. What the fuck? I am sus of that. These should all line up perfectly and this one doesn't. Hmm. Export both, untick all, then in UE, open mesh, then ribbon collision, choose adjust around mesh. Okay, we'll try that. Let's see how it goes. Tools, rename objects. Base name. I just want a suffix. Prefix, sorry. UCX. There we go. And then we want a suffix. Zero one. And we will remove the last one, two, three, four digits. Shit. Last three digits. That kind of worked. No, it didn't. I fucked it. Why? What? Math, please. Oh, it's because some of them have underscores and some don't. It's bloody annoying, isn't it? Okay, whatever. We got halfway there. I'd rather do this manually just to make sure it's all good. I'm actually going to put 01 on my uh, clipboard. This is the problem having like a high res monitor. Like it's just fucking t everything's tiny. See, that's meant to have an A. Things I do. Here we go. We're off. We found a rhythm, guys. We're making waves. If you're bored of watching me do this, you can always go donate to charity. Rather than moan. Need better eyes, lad. Who were all these people just coming in, roasting me that I've never... I mean, I'm assuming it's the squad, but I have no idea who's who. This needs to be... Because that ends in a number, right? Yeah. So if I save this and export that let's try that if that works I'll be made up if this now doubles the amount of meshes I have I'll be fuming hello oh what's this okay have you now got collision that I want is it does anyone know if there's a collision debug inside of Unreal Engine? 
I'm assuming there is. Player collision. <gasps> Look! See? It worked. Yay. So now that'll... That means that's just made my life so much easier. So I don't need to do anything fancy. That'll just work now. And one thing that was worrying me was... You see these bumps here? This is the, re the reason we did all of that was because obviously this, the speed you're going to be able to get to in this game is going to be ridiculous. So these little bumps, even though they look nice, they're just going to really cause a lot of problems in the long run. So having that like consistent, um, like flat collision mesh is just going to be so important. So yeah. Hold on, I need to shuffle this way a little bit. Ugh. Okay, cool. We should probably make a level, shouldn't we, and try try this out, and then we can put some obstacles in or something. So let's do that. Let's go make a level. Um. Level. What should we call the level, guys? Level one. Well, you need to bank the wall like a racetrack. Oh my god, that's such a good idea. Yes. That's... We're doing that right now. That's well good. That. Thank you for that idea. We're going to make um, a corner. Let's go get the, the ten straight. And we're going to make a new variant of this. Oh, that'll look well good. I'm actually super excited to try this. I'm trying to think the best way of doing it now. You could do it on splines and run it. Um, you could turbo smooth a mesh. I feel like the laziest and best way of doing this is going to be turbo smoothing it. Level final one, final final, true final one. Exactly. That is pretty much how every level goes. So let's, let's do like a 30 degree bank. I don't even, why is my... I'm just a thinking. So I want this to look cool as well. It's so my my thinking was you can do something like that, and then that obviously starts banking. It's obviously not the best way of doing it. I could probably this is just me testing, by the way. Once we're happy with something, I'll uh, I'll do it properly. I mean that looks pretty cool, right? It also dips nicely. Do like a hip jump, couldn't we? So like, you go round it like that. That would be so cool. So you gather like loads of speed and then you hit that and then you just go shooting off. So we could like, pull that up. Pull this vert up a little bit. So you can imagine you're like zipping across like dead fast and then you just hit that. You just get shot off. Do that again. Should we just put that in and see how it, how it runs? We'll call this test. Test meshing. Test mesh. So that way we can export this as part of the, the larger group without worrying about Export select. If I just export the scene, will that work? This might break things, I don't know. How do I import the new thing then? Do I have to... How do... If I add a new thing, do I do that? Does that create... Oh, yeah, look, it added one. That's cool. All right, nice. So there's... That's like an idea as to what it could look like. Let's 
and back that up. I really want to export in there. Oh wait, if I do export, do I need to check Turbo Smooth? As a tech checkbox for Turbo Smooth. Oh, I've done it. Right, whatever. I'll just do that. Export. Do that. Um, so if I re-import that now, that should be smooth. There you go. How does that look? Lol, its collision hasn't been done. Typical. Looks a little bit big, doesn't it? More like a feature, that, than a, than a banked corner. It looks cool, though. It's just a bit big. It's come out a little bit too far, hasn't it? But... It's not a bad start. Yeah, it's way too big, isn't it? Let's recopy that again. And we'll do like four. is the best way of making a bank like it's not just a case of modeling a, a curve either like there's more to it than that because you got to try and make it make it work like you know you could do use the loft tool oh shit the bosses here were fucked don't do this to me Corey I know what loft is as well but my brain's gone Do you reckon we do that just to wind the boss up? Oh, uh, what? That's minging. Wagwan coming at you live from Starbucks. Are you actually in Starbucks now, Lewis? Um, okay, right. Use a donut and scale the edges down. That's a good idea. Let's have a look at that. I am a donut. <laughs> so would I interpolate that a little bit? Let's say like interpolate like 32. And then would you convert that to an editable spline? Take the center down. To make a loft you need a shape and a path. Okay, Who's following? I can't tell. Oh, it's the person I don't actually know who keeps roasting me. Um, you need a shape and a path. Is someone following again? Oh, it's Crim98. Thank you for the follow. I will read this message from Corey eventually. You need a shape and a path. The shape gets extruded along the path. Oh, that thing. Well, I just want a spline, don't I? So it would literally just be that. I don't need anything mad. So what, I'd loft a circle. So I'd take the circle... Then I'd apply a lot. Is it a lot? Do you loft this thing or do you loft the other thing? Let me check. Loft. It's a modifier, right? So convert to an editable spline. Loft. Oh no, you, you're lofting this around something, aren't you? So it must be this that you loft. How the fuck do you loft things? And I'm not mean. What? The hint is baguette. Oh, so it is Tom. It's in... Oh, okay. Let's go get it. This is new to me. Creation method. Get path. Get shape. Interesting, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've done that wrong. 
Go on, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Corey putting up fires even after work hours. You're all horrible to me. Is it Lewis? Lewis is Leodron. If you've got the shape selected, you have to pick a path and vice versa. Okay. So... Why has it gone in that axis? I guess I can just rotate this route. And what, what's your plan, Corey, with this, now as we got this? I'm confused as to what where this is useful to me. I'm sure I'm just not understanding it right. Corey Bamford's about to do a mock-up for me after work hours. Absolute scenes, mate. What's this? Deadly EMP. Oh my god, we've we've got a couple of people popping in here. Hang on, we've got we've been we're getting educated. We're, oh, I'm in, literally in the fucking auto desk support and learning section. Thank you for all the follow, guys. Holy shit, I'm being raided. Well, at the moment, guys, those of you raiding, we're currently trying to loft a compound object. So, oh shit. Okay, yeah, I'm familiar with this. I should probably show the raid what, what game we're making. So, all the people who've joined, we're doing a charity live stream at the moment. Um, so, over the next three days, I'm making a game. So, that game is it's called Momentum, right? And the idea being that we have a timer at the top and it's going to be like an obstacle course game and if you if you can notice like when we start walking we start building up speed gradually until we're like going dead fast and this goes on forever so you exponentially get faster the the longer you go without hitting something the idea being that like people who are new to the game can compete for times just as much as people who are like full on triads right um hey just me Lau, thank you for um, raiding us. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, we have um, this Nerf gun, so then we can we'll be able to shoot buttons, which will like open doors for us and stuff. And yeah, the idea being that you get from A to B as quick as possible. And we're going to make the game in three days. But those of you who are like god tier gamer mode, you'll be able to navigate the course in less than ten seconds because you won't hit anything. Whereas someone like me who's a bit rubbish. We'll probably bang into everything. So at the moment, we're just placing down the floor tiles. We've gone into Max, and we've um, created all of our modular pieces here. And we're gonna we're just kind of like testing layouts at the moment. So when you guys all came along, we were um, we were just working out what pieces we need. So we're gonna make like a banked corner because obviously once you're going super fast, you, you're gonna want like a nice bank. So we were just playing around with different methods of creating that. Um, but yeah. Um, the charity that we're don't, uh, trying to raise money for is called Mind, and the purpose of this stream is we're doing 15 hours of game development for the 50, the one in 15 people who attempt to take their own life each year. And it's, you know, it's a fucking harrowing statistic that it's just not right that that's the case. And the charity Mind's doing some amazing work to try and support those people who need their help and. It, they do absolutely amazing work so anyone who's interested in that um you can find out more from them in the bottom there's a change um or what's it called a just giving link um we've had another donation i should probably read that out thank you very much to well we've had we've had eight donations so far we've had a couple of anonymous ones as well so thank you everyone but yeah we're trying to raise i don't know as much money as we can it was a hundred pound but we've already at 120 so we, had, we literally started making this game an hour ago, so I'm super stoked off everyone. So thank you everyone for um, uh, for all your support. And um, I'm sure we'll make a difference in our own weird game developer way, right? Um, I got a run through as I'm starving. Good luck with your game. Thank you. Hopefully see you around some other time. Um, maybe you can have a go with the game when it's done. It should be done in a couple of days. So hoping to have it done by Thursday night. And it'll be available for free on itch.io. Um, we've got another follower. Thank you, Shit Take. <laughs> That's a pretty good name, I'm not going to lie. I like that one. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, is what it is, right? Um, any questions, let me know. I don't. To me, it's obvious, but maybe I'm missing something, like a good explanation. Any ideas for obstacles, names for obstacles? 
Oh, and I should probably mention, anyone who donates £5 or more um, can send me a meme on Discord and we're going to have in the main starting area of each level a load of um, a load of different memes on the wall. So you're going to be able to, I don't know, like suggest your memes, your favourite memes, and then there'll be like a massive meme wall, which will be dead fun. And then anyone who donates anything at all will get, get their name in the credits, right? Um, so yeah, I'm just super... Super excited to be making a game as well, right? Especially one that's everyone can get hold of for free and it's going to be super fun and isn't going to take like, you know, 100 years to develop. Any Cloud Imperium devs in here now are like just rolling their eyes at me. Alright. Um, how come I'm not using Blender? Um, I will be. Just for you, Will, at some point during this. I I'm I want to know your guys' opinion, right? So we could have different levels, right? And I, my plan originally was to have like a little main menu and you choose, like you press one, two, three, four on your keyboard to, to choose what level you go to. But maybe do we start like in an area like this and then you can like choose. So you could like carry on straight and then do a course this way or do a course that way. And you start from the same place each time, but there's just different end zones. And then there's like a portal back to the start. What do we think of that? I'm trying to think. Sorry, can't. I want a crusade, yeah. Will, I don't even... Will doesn't even know how to use Blender. That's the funny part. That's the ironic. I got a drop. Thank you, Corey, for your help. I'll, uh, I do have that thing open on another tab and I'll... Um, I'll mess around with it in a little bit to get that sorted. Um, it would be cool to get a banked corner in, even though I'm overthinking completely how to go about developing it. Um, why is there a message log above the chat? Oh, no, it's not. It's just on my other monitor, lol. I thought you guys couldn't see anything then, and you've just been putting up with it for ages. Okay, so what are we doing next? We should probably start by deleting all this shite, because it's clearly not no use to us. Let's get rid of all this. We're above this. We're better than this. We've we've ascended. We've got our own modular kit now. We don't need any of this rubbish. Dan, you know me and I know you. It's just my... I've changed my username. Oh my god. Who is it? Is it Swenric? Or I'm trying to remember the OGs of my stream. Um, I have absolutely no idea. If you've changed your name, what chance have I got? Are you an OG follower or are you someone I know in real life? Because if you're an OG follower, then I'll have a few guesses. But if you're someone I know in real life, then I've got enough of those people trolling me in my chat. <laughs> Ed, <laughs> can you imagine if it was Ed? So you can see now how, how the game would kind of play, right? So it would start kind of slow. But if you can take this corner quick, it's going to get pretty fun pretty quick. No one is trolling you. No one. I doubt that highly. Um, Maybe we have... Let's just start making a level. Let's just start messing about. Let's just start using some of the pieces we've made and make something, right? So, anyone... I want to make, like, a little alternate you can, like, choose, right? Um... Be interesting to see what people's roots are through this. So, like, for example, the start here, you could come through, but then switch back as quick as you can, and then I, I imagine people would try and jump. And hit this. If you can hit this at just the right angle and jump, you're going to be able to go flying. I don't know. I, I fully expect someone to exploit that. And I'm kind of encouraging people to exploit stuff. Um, I'd love to see it. Let's grab this. Grab that. Chuck this in. If anyone has any questions, obviously there's still a few people chilling from the raid uh, oh oh no way it's brad that is iconic absolutely the original milkman guys is in our presence that's pretty 
insane. I'm feeling very lucky right now. Have I got the 10 by one? Oh yeah, look at this. We'll make like some blocks so we can like have this all go to like a floor somewhere. Um. I want to see if. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. I want to encourage people to try and get like a tight corner on this. So if you can get around there in time you'll get like a benefit to it if that makes sense this is just the me this is like just super fun right we're just placing designing messing around just seeing what we can come up with and we'll give it a little test run in a sec just using a kit that we've made to to make a game right Right, let's test that. Let's save actually before it all crashes and we lose everything. The man, the myth, the milkman. <laughs> Brad is actually iconic. He is like the OG milkman. Right, send it around the corner here. Drop over that. You see how I lost all my momentum there? Like, it's kind of mad. So if you can turn this corner quick enough. See that? We got that like, what, six seconds we got to the last area? I can imagine people will just try and send it over that as well. So we need to do something to combat that. We should probably make a wall kit. Make like a perspex wall. That would be pretty cool. Um, I want this to be like a giant. We'll make like a few materials so we can change like the color of each piece. Um, I mean, let's grab that. Let's make like a thick block. I feel like that would be useful to us. How thick? I'm not sure. May I can create milk from oxygen. <laughs> Absolute scenes. Now would be a really good time for that bank that we were messing with earlier. You imagine something like that. We should have like... um. I am feeling having like different routes. So like you can choose which way you want to go. I'm, like the way I see it is like... Um, you know like when you go to like a ski slope or a mountain bike thing you have like the trail heads and you can like choose whether you want to go down each run like the different colored runs we could do we could use like a grading system so like this would be like a chill run because there's no major obstacles but then we can have like spinny boys and all sorts in the next stuff um, which should be dead good so let's This is just kind of jump, jumpy stuff, right? But I want to keep it all relatively optional. That's pretty cool. I don't know what I think of that, to be fair. It, I think I like it. I'm not sure. I think having the, f I think the scale. I'm really happy with the scale. Has anyone got got any ideas for obstacles? By the way, like, I'm thinking Ninja Warrior style stuff. So anyone who's watched Ninja Warrior, obviously not the climby stuff, more like the jumpy stuff. More like actually, it'd be more like Total Wipeout. I think would be a better comparison. Let's. Keep, I'm going to make this one go quite high and then so it narrows off oh really Brad are you like one of their mods or something I imagine you're a, you're a bit of a Donny in their community as you are every community that you take part in
see how people deal with that. I love the design of your block out meshes. Could look like those child park we used to go when we were kids, kind of like Fall Guys. Hey, let me show you this then. So this is, um, if I go over to my Discord, my boy Corey's provided me with a 3DS Max file. So my boss has literally been watching the stream, found me a Max file, <laughs> and he's had, <laughs> let's merge it, let's see what he's made me. Oh, interesting. Okay, we'll, we'll have a look at that in a sec. So this is Corey's suggestion. That's pretty nifty, that, isn't it? So I guess I can change the shape of this, and it updates. Yeah, what a legend. Corey, an absolute unit. An absolute weapon. Just break the X forms of that. But then we can change like this to change the angle of that. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Corey. What a legend. Um. Okay. Oh my god, we've had loads of donations. Holy shit, let me read some of these out. Oh my god, we've had... Holy fuck, Thomas Laponce, £50. Bro, we're going to have to name one of the fucking lines after you. John. Is that... Oh, is that, is that my uncle John? Not Uncle John, sorry, my stepdad John. Fucking... Is that, which John's that? Is that John as in Joe from work, Josh from work? What? So many Johns. But yes, I'm pretty sure I know which John that is. Thomas Lepont, absolutely fucking carrying it. It could be Joe, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. Wow. What do you want to name one of the lines? I think for 50 quid you should name one of the fucking lines, bro. Right, let me, um... What was I doing before I got distracted by everyone's generosity? I was showing you guys something, wasn't I? We were talking about Fall Guys. Let me show you this. So this is my server that I have in myself where I am... Um, where I come up with ideas. So these are literally the ideas I had for it. <laughs> Look at this geezer here. <laughs> He's loving it. So we're going to do like one of these for the finish lines. Uh, sorry, the start. So you press E and then it would like open like a little barrier like this. We'll make that at some point. But yeah, look, so you were right. It's literally like Fall Guys. This is like one of my references that I I just looked at it and I was like, yeah, that, that makes perfect sense for the type of game we're making, right? Um, One of the lines. So um, the idea is that when you play the game, you're going to have like a... This will be like the starting area. And then here will be like a start gate. So you press E and then it will let you go. And then you start. And then it will go, it will like branch off in different ways. So this is one of the lines that we're doing here. So you see how it's like winding around. And like your goal is to get through it as quick as possible. But then um, what we'll do is we'll make like, um, the, we'll put like some walls in so you can't like jump between them. But you could like turn right and carry on straight. And then they'll like intertwine with each other, right? And we'll do like different colors for different courses. So this will be like the red course and the blue course. And we'll, like, so what colour would you like your course to be? So you imagine there's like loads of these snaky things coming off with different obstacles on. Um, yeah, what what would you like to name them? Because we'll, we'll give them each a name. So you can name this one. What do you want it to be called? And also what colour do you, do you want? So this is pretty cool. We should probably make a T-junction or something. Well, we don't need to make a T-junction. We've got one here. Yeah, yeah, let me know. You don't need to name it now, obviously. You've got ages. I'm going to make, like, a really fast one here. So that one will be quite, like, technical. It'll be quite... Um, 
this one will be like really windy and weavy, whereas this one's going to be like really straight. And then we'll put that bank corner in Corey was looking at. All of these we'll put like bollards in and other things, and we can have our we have our gun as well, so you'll be able to shoot stuff. So let me show you this. This will be cool. So let's imagine this. Um, let let me show you. So if I do like a cube here, yeah. Um, and we physicalize it. And then we have this. Where is it? We'll make this glow or something. So you come around here now. You come through. Whoop, 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 as quick as you can. Pick up the gun. Shoot the obstacle out the way. Keep going. So, you, but we can like put the gun in midair, right? So you literally like, we could have one of them. You have to jump, pick up the gun, and then shoot something before you. That would be cool. We should do that on this one. Um, should we like make a proper little moon booter on here? Let's try that. Actually, let's have like a corner first. So we'll make like a U-turn. So whoever keeps their speed best. But I want to make it so you do a jump. And then the platform is like, let's say it's like this. And you have to shoot to get it to come out. Actually, let's say it's... Oh, that's a cool idea, actually. So if we do this... I will be having a break just before 8, by the way, guys, just as a little, little warning. But we will be streaming till 11. So, I'm just trying to think of the best way of doing this. I want to make it so... If I Can I just put the gun down? Is that, does it work like that? If I just go on to blueprints and... I just put the gun down. Will that pick the gun up? You're literally running faster than the bullet at that point. That's kind of crazy. Hmm. Just trying to... Anyone got any ideas? Oh, wait, we got one. You should include the total wipeout bouncy balls with the word mind on the side of them to acknowledge the chart. Oh, my God. That is such a good idea. Yes, Brad. What a genius. Should we make them now? Should we model something? Should we make the bouncy balls from Wipeout? I say we do it. So, Brad's genius idea is going to get realised. We're going to do it right now. I'm going to make a new save. Actually, I probably don't want to work in different Max files. It's kind of a waste of time. So, let's make Brad's idea of the bouncy balls from Total Wipeout. Let's grab... Th so, first things first, if we want to make... Well, let's get a photo of him. Total Wipeout Balls. Here they are. Look at these. Look at these. So Brad's idea is to put these in and then have M-I-N-D on them. Which I think is bloody genius, to be honest. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Let me just check my phone a sec. What colour should we have the balls? That's my next question. Sorry, guys. Just being rude. Okay, let's make these. So they have like these little tripody things that keep them up. Um, you should make them blue as well for the charity's color. Purple, is it not? Um, purple's the. Let's check. So we should put their logo on it 
Should we just put their logo or we should we should put like a decal. Oh, we've had another donation, I think. I oh, know we haven't. That's the gift aid, isn't it? Thank you everyone though. Oh my goodness. Can't believe we raised so much money. Um we should put their logo on the side. We should put their logo on like the main bit. So like, you know when you come in here when we first press play, we should put like their logo up on the wall or maybe in shit. Maybe like up on there somewhere. I don't know, I got so many ideas. And it's good because we got the time to do them, right? I mean we need to um Yeah, let's get these balls going. Let's get these balls going. Yeah, the one letter per balloon is a good idea. That's why I think we should just have a poster as a separate thing, right? Maybe have the logo on the bit of the ball you jump on. Can you prepare some assets and stuff if you ever want to? Can prepare um Oh, Tom, if you want to... Yeah, any game devs in the chat, by the way, you are more than welcome to help me. Um, I will save out this, this file now. I literally have it saved. Yes, Alfie. How are we doing, bro? Right, anyone who knows me and is a game dev and wants to help hit me up tom do you fancy making me some i don't know what do you fancy making tom wish i was a game dev would love to be part of this you are part of it brad you just came up with the idea of doing the balls mate we're about we're about to do them for you right tom i'm gonna give you this um obviously anyone who helps will get a credit anyway they'll be put in the dev section momentum assets modular kit Where's my boy Tom? Tom Lepons? I don't even know what I call you. You call fucking Baguette. There you are. It's Max 2022, I just realised. Shit, I should probably save that in compatibility mode. Save as. What Max version do you use, Tom? I can go back to 2019. Let me know. Oh, you're on 2022? Okay, there you go then. There's the file. So, Tom, if you want to just make a piece, that would be really cool. Any modular pieces you want to make, you see on the left-hand side here, try and follow the naming conventions. Um, and then the UCX is the collision. So, I'm using... Let's just take these as an example, right? So, if I take um, corner 5 square... And then square, there you go, take these. So we have basically, this was the original mesh I made. And then I just chucked a chamfer modifier on it with 25 centimeters on. And then removed it. And then I just kept the pivot in the front, bottom, center. And that's it. Oh, right, okay, I'll give you it in max 2021. One sec. I'm just prov I'm just outsourcing some work. If anyone just seen a light go off, that was my tortoise's light going off because he's gone to bed. Bless him. There you go, Tom. Um, right. Let me read some of the chat here because I'm being rude. Um, was good. What game is being made here? Then I'll tell. I'll show you in a minute. A balance being part of the course could be really cool as well. Here to help too. Um, okay, let's put this on Google Drive. Hang on. Let me put this on Google Drive. Games. Um, let me just put this on Google Drive for everyone. Um, I can't promise it will get used, but if you fancy making an obstacle, I will really appreciate it. Um obviously try and keep him with the star we're just doing nice big heavy chamfers keeping it nice and simple it needs to work with everyone so get link you can donate if you want um the donations are for um the charity right so what we're doing alf is um 
we're making a game. So the idea of the game is you um it's an obstacle course, but you start slow and then if you keep your momentum up, it exponentially increases. So it encourages you to try and avoid all the obstacles even more so than usual. So here you can see I get a slightly smoother run, pick up the gun. And you can see I cleared that in like nine seconds. Let's see if I can do any better. I made made a mistake, but but we got there in eight. So you can see like it can it's gonna get seriously sweaty for everyone. So this is gonna be our hub here, and then it's gonna branch off into all these different obstacle courses with their own finish lines and then portals back. Um so if you want to donate, I'm spending the next three days making this game, giving it out for free, and I'm just kind of using it as an opportunity to talk a bit about um, the charity Mind. So Mind make, um, they, they support people with, you know, mental health problems. So I'm doing 15 hours of streaming for an, an hour representing the one in 15 people that um, attempt to kill themselves every year. And it, you know, it's a harrowing statistic that isn't right, really. It should never be like that, but it is an... That's the reason we're here. We're trying to s raise money to help um, get those people the support they need, right? So yeah, it's hard. It's it's sad, but you know, it's uh, it's important that we do something if we can. So Brad, we're gonna make these balls five meters wide. So this is Brad's suggestion. We're doing a five meter radius ball here. And we're just gonna minimize this, just keep this separate. Um, let's, oh, what a legend, Alf. Um, I don't know why my notifications aren't working. It's meant to come up on the screen when people donate. Um, like, <sighs> where can I put, I'm gonna put it on itch. I also might put a version of it out tomorrow at the end of tomorrow's stream to get some feedback um i i don't know it just depends we could get one out tonight really it depends like how how much progress we make but if people just want to mess around i could put out a version tonight and then people can play around with it while i'm streaming tomorrow and give me feedback um obviously i can't promise it won't crash your computer because i'll have absolutely no optimization or even code that's half decent but um Let's see what, um, Alfie, you absolute Donny. Thank you so much for the donation. I don't, 30 pounds. Everyone's so fucking generous. Holy shit. Um, yeah, awesome. Um, also everyone who donates, um, you can send me a meme on discord and we're going to put it in the like, or a quote or something, anything you want. And in the starting area, we're going to have like a U shape thing. Um, with all the stuff like posted on the wall for people to, to, I don't know, like your memes will get posted on the wall and stuff. Tom wants me to use this meme of him. Let me show you the fucking, look at this. This is Tom entering one of our meetings. So yeah, Tom, if you, while you're editing, if you want to like, oh, we're in Unreal Engine, um, 2.26, we're in 0.26. Let me just check my phone dead quick. What time are we on? We're doing all right for time. Right. What's Alf putting in? I'd rather it be a picture, by the way, Alf, if you can. Oh, this is the wide thing. Yeah, I don't know why this is like such a heavy thing. These <laughs> these wide things, but I I'm not against them. I think they're hilarious. Um. Okay, let me make this ball. I keep getting distracted. Right. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not leaving Max now until I fucking made this ball for you, Brad. So. Um. I'm gonna get a picture up of the. I did have one up. I don't know where it's gone. Here it is, total wipeout balls. It's going to be about a billion tabs. You guys are just going to be embedded into my computer by the end of this. Am I going to... Should I move the donation reward thing? I feel like I should. Uh, we've achieved our goal twice over. I'm kind of amazed, to be honest. I really didn't expect this. Edit your page. We're going to have to... We're, I'm moving the goalposts again, guys, because that's how we roll. Alfie getting us to that benchmark. And Tom, oh, like £70 pound between them. An eighty pound between them? Oh my god, that's actually insane, guys. 
and moving your goalposts again though. That's how we have to operate sometimes, guys. I don't know when that will update, by the way, but the new target's 300. If I Can I refresh it? I don't know. Um, maybe it'll just update passively after a little bit. Okay, let's... Right, stop, Daniel. Stop getting distracted with... Too busy to can we need to get the game done. Okay, here we go, here we go. Create shape. We are gonna put a floor in, I think a floor would look really cool. Create shape. Can I see create shape? There it is. If I start going silent, it's because I'm concentrating. I'm very sorry. Um, let's get a cylinder out. Not sure about that meter radius, 0.5 I think. There you go, that's more like it, isn't it? Um how do they connect? Oh it's like a like a quad thing that they like branch off in a four. Um I got the RGB value for blue. That charity is useless. Why? Oh, oh! I thought you said that charity's useless then, Brad. I was about to be like, what the fuck? Oh, that's why I was like, that charity's useless. I thought you'd like gone through heaven and hell and back to try and get an RGB value for me. Yes, shoot me the RGB value. <laughs> Sup, Meg? How we doing? All right. Let's um, let's keep gaming. So I'm gonna go. Just woke up from a nap. That's pretty pog. I am. Um, I'm pretty good, yeah. Is that square? Doesn't look square. Doesn't look square at all. That looks straight though, which is half the battle, really. Create shape linear. Point two. Point two five. Here we go. Oh, I don't like that. How big was this one? Point five. This could look a bit naff, but I'm kind of in a game jam situation. I can't really get tied up on fucking details, to be honest. Congrats on reaching to Yeah, I know. Thank Tom and Alfie and everyone else who's donated. I can't believe it. It's kind of amazing. Really just great work. And everyone's been so nice as well who's come by. We got raided as well. I don't know if some of the raidees are still here. I think it was Brad's, one of the communities Brad's a part of. Um, kind of ran over and raided us. It was really nice to see. Um this could be cool. I'm going to try this. So if we copy that and then rotate that 90 degrees and then take one of these. No, one of these. There we go. And then we... I'm going to fillet this if it gives me a chance to. There's our ball. Thank you. 
sorry about this, guys. I'm in, I'm in the concentrating mood at the moment. I hope. How's the music, by the way? I haven't asked that yet. Is the music a good volume for everyone? Obviously, like I'll turn it off if like everyone's like I'd rather listen to my own music. But I guess I hope it's like not too loud that it's like overpowering people's music if they're trying to listen to their own, right? Because I know how annoying that is. Oh, we got a follower. Who's that? Thank you, Sailor Jane. Thank you. Hmm. I want to change this up, man. I'm not happy with it. I'm getting so, like... What's weird is the gut... I want to, like, keep it... Oh, we've followed again. Oh, my goodness. Aurora P. Polaris. Thank you so much. Um, huh. Remember anyone who's got any ideas for the game, let me know. And if anyone's like just joined and doesn't know what we're doing, like also let me know because I'll tell you. Um, actually, this could be cool. Let's do this corner. There we go. That 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 was the that was the button I was looking for, in terms of. Yeah, that, that's what I was after. I was after, like, some kind of resolution to that design problem I had. But I have since resolved it. Um, no, it's not. It's going to be like you just jump across it. I don't think we have enough time to do that. I'd love to, and maybe we can. Um, I have a good friend, Matt, who's like extremely good at Unreal Engine, so there's a chance that he might drop by and um, and give us like a blueprint for it if we gave him the asset. But I'm not going to press him on it. Just rotate this so it's actually. It's annoying now that's not central in it. This is going to be our dirty secret that that's not perfect. How's the modular pick? Oh, oh my god, speak of the devil. Yo, 20 views, let's go. We got 30, man. Look at everyone. Um, maybe a tunnel. Oh, that's a cool idea. Go through it quickly. Yeah, hat balls. Yeah, very good. Um, Matt, do you remember the bouncy thing we had from Seven Day Circus? How, how hard is that to do? Was it hard to do? If it was a hard to do one, like, leave it. I remember you having a headache over something. I don't know if it was that. But we have had boingy stuff working in the past in Unreal Engine. It's just whether we've had it recently. I believe there's an interpolation slider that I'm looking for somewhere. Do you reckon we just keep it this high res? It looks proper dirty, that though, doesn't it? Oh, not too bad, I think. I can give it. Can you do that for me? That'd be good. Let's chill this out a little bit. It's kind of mental at the moment. Could you please involve... Yes, yes, Brad. We will do a meme. We will do a bottle of, of milk. 100% we'll do a bottle of milk for you. Anyone who donates gets a meme in the game as well. Don't forget, guys. Um, also, if you donate and I don't realize, like, fucking tell me because I don't know why, but my donations, like, aren't working, which is really annoying. 
I'll make sure they're fixed for tomorrow. This is so high res, but you know what? They they fucking earn it, right? If the, if you're ever gonna put a lot of geo on something, you're gonna do it for charity, right? That's how I'm justifying it anyway. Okay, so if I put a chamfer modifier on this now. Oh no, not like that. Ninety, please. What time is it? Does anyone know? Oh yeah, I'm looking. I'm just gonna manually shunt for that actually. It's so much easier. Um, do you have alerts for incoming donations? I should do. I mean, I've obviously that's just not fucking happened because someone's donated again. Let me work that out because this is clearly a problem. Thank you for someone just donated again. Oh my god, I need to go and see. This is insane. Anonymous, we've had two anonymous donations. If those people want to private message me and get, um, and get like something in the game. Let me know a meme or something like that. Um, right, let me. There's a thing you can do. Um, edit your page. Hang on, donations. There's like um. Oh my goodness. I did set this up right. It's here. It's literally. Um, let me check. Just giving OBS. Um, oh, I can't do it now. I, I don't know why. Two of my mates have donated, uh, and nothing happened but your Gucci. Yeah, I am really sorry. The bar's going up above my head. I, Like I'll show you guys, I did set it up and it did say that it was working. Oh, we just had someone follow. You see here, we have a QR code as well. Like, um, There's the raise thing. The donation notifications, this, it should be in the middle. Like I, I have done it. I don't know why it's not working. I am sorry. Um. I'll make sure I sort that out. I'd love to do it now, but obviously we need to make sure we make this game as well. Um, all right, so let's attach that to that. Um, we will chuck an unwrap on this really quick. Um, right, we're going to attempt to use Photoshop. Now, be warned, guys, this may crash my fucking computer because when I was messing around with it yesterday, it did crash it, and I have no idea why. Um, I think it might have just been bad timing, um, but also, I don't know. So, we'll see. Um, Meg, DM me the names of your friends if they'd like to be included in the game's credits, by the way. I'm already starting to think this game's going to overrun into the weekend. <laughs> Okay, we have Photoshop and nothing's died just yet, um, which is good. New. I'm going to make a 1024 texture. Now we'll do 204, right? we'll treat ourselves. We could use Substance Paint now. Let's just use Substance Paint now. It's going to be way safer. I just don't trust Photoshop at the moment. And I don't know why. Oh, hey, hey, Paige. Welcome to the chat. Um, Don't break another computer, please. <laughs> yeah, I have a habit of doing that, don't I? I do have a habit of doing that. Um, Right. 
This looks pretty neat. This will do. This will do. Oh my god, we've got like the OG notepad tutorial song on at the moment, guys. Should we hire it up? I daren't because I won't be able to fucking lower it down again. Um, okay, so we're going to do this with two IDs. I'm going to... I said I wouldn't, but I am. I'm going to save this as a new file. Save as... Assets. And we're going to call this Ball. Okay, that way I don't need to stress about like ruining my, my main file, which is kind of important. Um, about half an hour to type out a single sentence because of the amount of spelling mistakes. Computer sacrifices for the silicon gods, that's right. Oh, do you remember Brad, Meg? Fucking big up Brad. Who, who loves the notepad tutorials, by the way? Only true OGs remember modding Minecraft with, like, the notepad tutorials. I remember watching a notepad tutorial once on how to install, is it not enough items or something like that? And I literally watched a tutorial on how to do it. And then I immediately went and um, made a notepad tutorial myself. I literally just fucking plagiarized this guy's work. I just completely stole it. There was no... No honour amongst it at all. Just like, yeah, I'm having this tutorial. Give me the views. The 1.3... Yeah, when they added ocelots. Throw back to that. Um, reset X form. Just because I always do that. I don't like not doing that. Okay, so. The ball is ready for um, Substance Painter. We're not going to texture the, the tube thing. Because I'm going to try and keep flat textures as much as I can. Um ball we'll just call it ball there you go um i feel like ball's too low bouncy we'll call it wipe out ball there you go just ball seems too short doesn't it so here we're gonna go over to substance painter i have a button for it oh my god i can use my button you ready for this this is well good look at the production value on this stream Bang. We're here. Absolute madness. Momentum, assets, wipeout ball. Oh shit, here it comes. Are we ready? There it is. How exciting. And look, we can draw on this. Oh, it's going to crash. Oh, imagine if it crashed. Oh my god, I'd cry. Okay. Um, Logo. What's the charities? Oh no, we were putting, we were doing like different letters, weren't we? Should we hand draw them? That's a bit tacky, isn't it? We should probably not do that. Font. Make a new layer. Brad, do you have that RGB code for me, mate? That would be good. Font. Can we see font anywhere? There it is. I feel like this font. I'm enjoying the. I'm enjoying the idea of this font. Black. Fill layer. mind okay cool and let's just make sure we got okay it is on there somewhere oh there it is look i kind of want it to be on the side like that this is not going to be an example of how to develop um uh, a performant game, by the way. The recommended specs for this game is going to be a 3070. Um, the minimum specs is going to be a 3060, so get your wallets out, guys, because the scalping is going to begin. Um, okay, so there we go. We've got the M. Um, I gave it to you in Discord. Oh, did you? Absolute Donny. Let's go find him. What's Matt got? Here's a quick bouncy ball blueprint. Obviously replace. Look at everyone's so useful. I've got so many. Oh my god, Matt's literally like. Box. Launch character. Oh well, shit, there you go. Oh my god, so we can do it? That's what Matt's telling me. We can do a begin overlap s sphere probably or a box. 
fucking a thousand, Jesus. Maybe not a thousand. Um, Brad, I've got lots of people typing to me. You're all very good. So we've got 20. Let's just change the fill layer of the background of this. Um, so what's Brad? 21. I don't know if that's the... Uh... Oh, shit. Point two one zero one point nine nine maybe maybe two but I don't know if that's RGB things actually working mate. Um I paid scalper prices for a PS five. Oh rip. Let me just read some of my messages guys. You changed the red circle to whatever value you might you might want to fine tune. Yeah, I thought so. Here's a middle finger to go with the blueprints. Thanks, Will. I thought you might do something like that. Um, I found the. Let's get the. Um, here's here's their blue. We can just pick it like this. Let's just do a color pick. So that's their blue that they use. So we'll use that, and then we'll set this to be like a white color. Okay, that's all we need. We only need the albedo map. So if I export the textures, I only care about... Oh my god, why have they made this so much more complicated than it needs to be? No, not that. Momentum. Assets. Ball. Um, literally just give me the fucking asset, bro. Is it giving me an albedo map? It has. Okay, cool. So I can call that ball underscore. I'm just doing something on my other monitor here. All right, let's change that to an I now. Export that. Ball I. And then N. Fork. N export textures export ball N and then D okay and then file export textures and then we have ball D. We don't need any of these. We only care about them. I was going to do some Photoshop, but then I thought about UV stretching and stuff, and I was like, it's probably not worth the effort. Um, I'm going to be AFK for a bit, so if I don't respond, that's why. No worries, Brad. Um, oh, did it, did it fucking... Did a charity thing appear? What showed, Pog? What are you talking about? Did someone donate or something? If I've missed another donation, I'll be really annoyed at myself. Let's go and have a look. And, oh, we got a couple anonymous donations. Some awesome people. The donation alert fixed. Absolute poggers, all of yous. All of yous. Absolutely insane in the membrane. And what monitor are we running on at the moment? We're running on the right monitor. Okay, let's get let's get this asset in game. Let's see what it looks like. Content meshes new folder. And we're gonna call this one Um Bouncy Ball. Um make a blueprint and what kind of was it? What was it? It was a it was an actor, wasn't it? Um, I 
import wipe out ball import oh did my what's going on here no smoothing group information what's happened here Um, is it like tiny or something? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, I see. I know what's happened. Oh, wait, shit, I'm on the wrong monitor again. Sorry, guys. Fuck's sake. Such a tit. Bragging about my production value and then can't even fucking operate at like a normal. Right, look, we have our ball. Very cool. It's very big. But I quite like it. I think it will work well for what we need it. So now we're going to attempt to. Let's. I'm going to put this here. Do you reckon we bring the whole level up? How do I move it? Okay, so this will be our bouncy ball section. If we rotate that like that, this should work. Nice balls. So if we import, we need to import the textures now, don't we? Ball, let's bring in the textures. Rename these. This is the power of the witchcraft of the This is all just happening on my other monitor it for a sec one moment. I could have been really clever in the way that I packed this and put it um, and tinted based off of an RGB value and stored MIND in each of the channels, but I'm lazy as fuck. This should be two IDs. I don't know why it's not. We'll sort that out in a minute. Don't get too excited, guys. This isn't done yet. Um, So I need to save all these now, don't I? Oh shit, I should probably save the level, shouldn't I? Before it fucking dies and ends my life. Anyone say anything in chat? No, we're just chilling. No, fair enough. Okay, well, let's try and make Matt's thing that he's given me. So, I go into here. Um, add static mesh ball. Ball. Um. Um. 
Um, and then on component begin. Um, oh, do I need a collision mesh? Oh yeah, what's this? Okay. I might do a little, I might do it as a box actually. Okay, and then event graph on component begin overlap box cast to first person character launch character let's just do that as a thousand to get us going so if I'm correct or Matt's correct should I say Oh, we got a follower. Thank you. Oh, it's Paige. Thank you, Paige. Right. So if we now walk on this. Oh, shit. It boinged us. Did you see that? No way. Now we go extra with it. This will be the trick shot line. Oh, what did I collide with it? What did I hit? What am I hitting? Am I hitting the collision of the gun? That's weird. Whoa. So now we need four of these and we need them to go different M thingies. Let me just check my phone dead quick. I'm probably going to go for a break for a couple minutes, guys. But once I'm back, I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up so there's four of these and they say mind. Um, all right, catch you later, Alf. So we'll put four of these in a line that say mind. And then we'll, um, we'll also, yeah, we'll continue with this line. This would be a pretty cool place to have the start of the level, do you think? Like, running parallel to that. I feel like that's a cool idea. Itchy eye. Making really good progress, though. Okay. 
Alright, let's quickly change this to be um thingy. Why is that still marked as a bloody shape? If I do a multi sub and then do that. And then export that now. Oh my god, I thought my monitors were breaking then. I shit myself so hard. Everything went black. And I don't know why. Um, What was I doing? Oh yeah. Bouncy ball. Re-import that. So, if I set, okay, cool. So if I just put that in the modular kit slot, which, I'm sorry, I put that in there, and then I change. There you go. Look, now we can change that independently of that. So if we duplicate the wipeout ball. Do I have to have a different fucking one each time? I feel like I do. That's going to be well annoying. Duplicate. I mean, I'm... Yeah, I'm going to have to do it. I'm just going to have to suck it up. Okay, so if I delete all of these, if I drag M there, let's just set them up up here for a minute. So, like that. If I grab each of these and rotate them, fuck's sake, I'm gonna have to do it individually, aren't I? 90, 90, 90, 90. And then go into each of these. So if I open M, change that to use. Yeah, so if I change that one to use that. Yeah, okay, we're on we're on, we're getting somewhere. Change that to use that one. No. That. Then and there we go. So let's just quickly line these up on the y-axis. Oh, whoops, wrong axis. On the x-axis. Minus 300 seems good to me. Let's line all those up. What's the difference in space in between these? So I do minus three, five hundred, and then four, five hundred, or minus five thousand, minus four, seven fifty, minus four, six hundred. Okay, that looks better. Four, six hundred. 
So what am I increasing by? 1,100 each time. So that should be 5,700. Or is it going down? No. Minus 5,700. And then that should be 6,800. Minus 6,800. And then grab each of these. And what's this? This is minus 650. So then settle these to minus 650. Move them along like that. Delete those, push that out, give it a play. Oh shit! Oh, I feel like it's gonna take some practice. I feel like the thing that needs tuning is just the bounciness amount. Yeah. I wish it was easier to change, to be honest. Um. Actually, it's pretty easy. need to save all these on my other monitor. I'm just going to change the value in each one. Let me check my phone again. Okay, so we'll change all these to 2000. So I've just been saving stuff on my other monitor, nothing crazy. So here, change each of these, 2,000. What matters is we got them in, right? So for now, it... oh shit. That was a bit big, wasn't it? I feel like giving people a run-up to it. And then change that to 1,500, maybe. 1,500. kind of annoying to be honest I need to make sure it doesn't annoy players I just crash bruh bruh Unreal, please. It's dead. Oh, shit, it's alive. It didn't like that, did it? Oh my god. I need to be careful with that. That could say, I don't want to break people's computers. Interesting. We'll have to come back to that in a bit. For now, I want to do some more work to like the normal course. So if we just raz this. That seems pretty cool, that line. Yeah, that first course is pretty nice, isn't it? So this would be like another course here. Let's make um, a new mat state type. Um, 
I'm going to open my other file. I'm going to make um, uh, we don't need these. Yeah, we're going to make a, a box that's 50 meters just for the floor. I think 50 meters is big enough. I think it should be. So just convert that to an edit poly. Effect, bring that forward, bring that down. Chuck that to zero. Um, and then UCX floor um, 50, floor 50, and I'll do and copy that. I'll just call this 50 floor. And we'll give them both. Um, we're going to put a chamfer on this. Where's the other chamfer modifiers gone? Alright, oh, I see. Because of the sheer scale of it, it's delete, paste. Oh, there you go. I should probably have a mesh line around called test mesh just in case as well, because I think it'll be looking for that. We'll see what it says. If it moans at me, I'll put it in. Delete that for now. Import. Sorry, I've stopped thinking out loud, which is like rule number one of streaming. You meant to think out loud as much as much as you can. I'm gonna be having a break in a minute. Um Right, where's that modular kit fifty floor? Matt, how do I get rid of that grid? You know, the annoying grid. That might look a lot better now. Oh, we have an actual floor now. That looks cool, doesn't it? Top left of your viewport. 
Is it one of these? Shell. Nice. Nice, I'm just trying to think what, um... Right, modular... Kit 50 floor should be its own group. I'm assuming I can just do control G to make a group, right? How do I make a group? Group. Oh, they have been grouped. Okay, well I want I want this to be a little lower to the ground I've decided. Hmm. Just trying to think how high I want it. Obviously these balls can go anywhere we want, so I'm tempted to put them like over there or something. My only concern is like new light, the lighting at the end and stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool actually. I quite like the framing of that. I also like the height. It's the kind of thing that will encourage the player to like explore, right? Because they'll want to try and find a way up to the massive balls. I might put a slight emissive on the texture for the floors as well, so they just don't have shadows cast on them. We could have three levels by the looks of it, so we have this front level. You could like run in between these. We need like um, blocks, don't we? Like bigger blocks. Let's make some cubes. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to go for a break guys, that's my phone ringing to say have a break Daniel, I'll be back in a little bit, um, yeah, give me a minute.
Hello. Who have we got? Anyone's any survivors? Hey Meg. I'm gonna put some rainforest music on. Just because we've been listening to the same copyright free bullshit for ages. Look at this two hour one, this'll see us through to the end, won't it? Oh, this is fucking great. It's raining. Where are we at the moment? We are in... I don't know, someone, someone making... Someone work it out. Someone's like currently got this like fucking in a second tab but has no idea. They're just like, where the fuck is that rainforest music coming from? I keep... <laughs> I was going to get a Red Bull, but then I realised that it's chill, so maybe I shouldn't. Um, what's the crack? Have we s saved the fucking... How many? Oh yeah, the game's saved. How, what's the donation? Look at everyone's donations, oh my goodness. I can't believe Tom donated 50 quid. What a fucking... Uh, absolute legend. Everyone's a legend, don't get me wrong, but... That is bloody ridiculous, that is. Um, I decided um, that we're going to make some blocks, because uh, we need them. So that's what we're going to do. These don't need collision meshes though, which is nice. So we're going to make a 2 meter block. Um, block. Um, we just need blocks really. 2 by 10. And a five by ten. Five by ten by two. We'll do it that way around. Not that that's the correct way of doing your metrics, but I'm going to do it that way around because it makes life easier in Unreal Engine when I'm trying to work out what the fuck's what. So we're going to do... Three. Change that to three. Three by ten, like that. So now we've got like two different blocks, right? We'll do like um. We'll do like a larger one as well, like this. We need like a fill block for like the big corners. What is that? Is that an um, is that a meeting? Oh, okay. That's okay. Let's change this to... What the hell? Oh. I want this to be 5, right? No, I don't. I want it to be minus 20. That's a bold statement. It's not minus 20. It was minus 10, wasn't it? Yeah. That's a big block, that. feel like those blocks should be enough to get us going, right? Let's check. Am I muted, by the way? No, people can't hear me. Um, oh, someone's donated. Oh, that was an hour ago. My bad. I need to make it so the, um, the, the things make a noise, the donations, because I don't react to them, and obviously it doesn't appear on my screen. Like, I just had a text from mum telling me then. Which is all well and good, but my phone doesn't make a noise either, so I didn't get that. Which is bloody annoying. Appreciate the effort though. 10 by 10. Right, let's try this, let's try this, let's try this. So hopefully we've got some blocks now which we can work with. This shouldn't be needed. Let's export these. Export. I 
I'm going to spend the rest of the stream just doing, like, I don't know, like, filler work, right? I'm assuming anyone who's kind of vibing with us at the moment, like, the kind of hype's died down, right? We're kind of chilling. We're just... We've got the, um... The people who are just kind of popping in to say hello have, uh... Are gone now, right? The, which is, you know, we'll see them again tomorrow, probably, but... We're just hanging out. We need to start placing some of these. I do like the start of this level, so it's what we're gonna... That could work. Do you reckon I just do that? For the corners, that could work. Hopefully this block that I've made, where is it? Modular kit block. Quite. Do you know what? I'm really digging that look. The pillowed normals just... They're just doing it for me. That just looks really neat, doesn't it? And that is like surprisingly easy to like replicate. Like I can literally just alt drag that down, scale that up till it matches that. I think it's one more. Not the same. I really want to make sure that what is that scaled by? Two point five. So if I grab all of these, bring that down, scale by two point five. And where's that? That is once minus 50. There you go. So if I now drag those down. We've done it. That looks neat, I think. That looks really neat. that. 
looks well nice. I can just fill in that top one by extending it a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't have pressed that button. Oh no. Is that because of UV2s? I really don't want to have to deal with UV2s. Can I make them all movable? If I make them movable, and then build, this might be slow as fuck. that solves my problem I might have to do that oh yeah look at that looks really nice it's way better than everything else modular kit then this could be suicidal but build that. Hopefully that fixes our lighting problems. It did. At least we know that works now. Where's the um Just design some levels? Forest sound effect there, just working well in it. Don't know about you lot, but it's chilling me right out. That's um. Looking forward to seeing everyone's exploits and stuff. I feel like there's going to be quite a few. We need to start like coming up with like materials and names. Just a lot of work to do, really. Might end up staying up quite late tonight trying to do this. It was meant to be 15 hours, but doubt. Or doubt as to whether that will be the case. 24 hours, yeah. I mean, I've not been known to do that. I have been known to do that.
This would be so cool. So you start and you can go straight and do this course, which we made. You can start and go down here, which is a new course I've literally just been making. And you can, I don't know, it'll be pretty cool, I think, by having all the different routes. I'm going to make some different materials, I think. I think now's the time for that. Um, um, kit material pretty sure I can make this can I promote this to a parameter I can color Gonna do like a, a point 0.1 multiply on the emissive channel, and I'm gonna set the roughness value to point 0.3. I'm hoping that gives us a nice, cool, shiny material. thought probably want to do it now before I build too much so if I create a new material instance call it red we should be able to change the color of this Now if I create a new one of these, and I call it red dark. Try changing this. I want this a little bit. I don't like it so saturated. change the um good thing I did it like this as well so now I can change the
so I want to do like each of these for like different coloured runs. So we'll have the red run. Too green dark as well.
Thank you, Surge Hurricane, for the follow. I appreciate it. Again, like I said last time I got a follow, I'm just kind of chilling out. We're not really the height. Like, you know, we're just kind of vibing. Just trying to get the game done, right? Just getting a bit of progress. Getting our heads down a little bit. I want this to be like a really long, fast, flowy one. See if that's possible.
Hello? Why can't I hear you guys? Hang on. Hello. Hello. What do Hello. we do, Cor? <laughs> we can't push, leave. Uh, cr cross over the boat here. Yeah. It's getting oh. daytime now, so we, we, can, what? we might be able to push a, get a big push up. What game are you guys playing? We're playing a bit of Foxhole. Oh, how's your, how's your Devin going? Yeah, I'm still live, by the way. I'll leave in a minute. I just thought I'd pop in to say hi. Can you see the stream? Ooh. Do you want me to put yeah, a yeah, snip of the level so I'm far? Yeah, let's I'll, take a look, dude. I'll put a snip in. Um, I've been doing level design pretty much because I was like... Now as I had my modular kit, I was like, oh, I can run with it a bit. So that's where it's at at the moment. Oh, that's adverts, cool. I like your I like your color scheme. Yeah, so there'll be like um four different obviously the four different tracks. The purple ones only just started. Mm -hmm. Um but the idea is that they'll all run like I'm going to put like invisible barriers in, but you start from the same place and you start from the same start gate, but you choose which way you want to run and then it'll just tell you your time for that course. That's just cool. So there'll be like one start and four different ways of ending and you could like, you know, you just be like, oh, I want to do the red course and there'll be like four personal bests in the top left or whatever of all your different times for the different courses. Nice. Yeah, and then... So... The way, Sorry, I'm what? Sorry. I was going to say, I, I was John. <laughs> well, was... Oh, you were? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were like, oh, is, is it my stepdad or something? I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really confusing. <laughs> That's funny, dude. But yeah, dude, looks pretty fun so far. Like yeah, I, th I feel like if I can get my plan is to spend the next hour doing the purple level, and then I'm gonna go and watch YouTube tutorials to research for a couple of hours on the whole, you know, how to set up the personal best timers and the UI and stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun one, isn't it? Yeah, so best to do that off stream, and then once I've worked that out, then I can spend tomorrow like putting obstacles on the courses, you know, like bollards and like crates, and then having like weapon pickups. I don't know if you've seen, but you can run around and pick up a gun, and you're like, there's like I can like leave a nerf gun on the floor, and if you run over it, you'll like equip it, and you'll be able to like. So is it gonna be like a full guys kind of thing? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But you've obviously seen the mechanic where you can run quicker and quicker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so it's like the car game you did a while ago. Um. Well, you did that car game ages ago, didn't you? Where your speed just gets exponentially faster, right? I don't know if it was a car game. I don't remember making a car game. Sure, it was a car game. Sure, it was yeah. me. Pretty sure it was you. But yeah, I mean, I, I am, I do love the exponential. Basically, right, the the story behind this idea when I first got into Unreal Engine, literally my first ever day in college on game engines, um, they asked us to like make a jump puzzle using BSPs, and I found yeah. I found I was like fiddling around looking for the jump height thing. So I was like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if I could make my guy jump dead high to make this jump puzzle more fun? And then I found the like the top speed thing and just change that hoping that it would make my character dead quick and then i obviously didn't do it right because i it's the acceleration and the top speed that matters not both yeah. and i then i discovered them that mechanic of the exponential acceleration and then i was uh -huh. like oh shit and then i made an obstacle course for that and then i made the game and then i shipped it to all my classmates and i failed the class because i didn't make a jump puzzle <laughs> Uh, so it wasn't a racing game. It was a uh, first person. I just always assumed it was a racing game for some reason. Last time we need these tanks that. to move up. But yeah, I'll let you guys concentrate. But um, I'll uh, thank you for the loft thing. By the way, I'll probably use that tomorrow. I think it will help you a bit. Yeah, it definitely it's will. One of them shapes. I'm obviously trying to keep it quite modular like this, but I think I might when I, tomorrow will be where I'm like modeling like specific features and like. Going, oh, I want to make 
like a loop de loop or some shit. Obviously not nothing that mental, but you okay. know. Um it will be useful for then, so thank you. Nice, dude. Alright, well I'll catch you later. I'll see you tomorrow. Dude. Take care, friend. So I'll have the stream on anyway, so I'll be watching. <clears throat> Liz. Hey Matt. If either, uh, if anyone wants to jump in a voice chat, by the way, I was, I was obviously just chatting to some of my team there from CIG. Um, I love those guys; they're awesome. Um, but if I, I don't know Matt or Meg, you want to have a chat? Um, I'm just kind of chilling, right? I'm not really doing anything too major. This fuck it, these forest music, man. Jesus, it is such a vibe. It's going all right, isn't it? Do you want to see one of the runs? I'll show you before you get to bed. I'll show you the maps. So this green one, I might tweak the acceleration rate a little bit because it is very slow to get going. You obviously, let's say you have to do that green one effectively. You have to um, you have to hit that wall. And then that'll be the end of that level. Um, red. I haven't actually done the new red yet. They're all about 13 seconds long. The blue one I haven't done because I'm scared of crashing my editor. I'm just scared. I'll do that tomorrow. And then purple. I'm going to run the purple one ar around here. Um, yeah, around here. And then I think I was going to go quite close to this blue one. But then have it loop around. I don't really know. It's kind of what I'm trying to work out at the moment, where this purple one should go. I want it to end over here. Oh, that could be fucking awesome. I've got an idea for the purple one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have it like go straight for ages. So you build up tons of speed and then have it do like an obstacle at the end. I love doing these corners right at the top of these things. It really keeps you on, on your toes. But this one's going to be a loop-de-loop. -loop.
Hey, Carl. The game's going well, bro. I'll show you it now. Give me a sec. Just trying to make like a little wall ride at the moment. Um, here's the game. So the different colours are obviously different courses. I still need to put the invisible barriers in. Should be a bit of a task in itself. Um, we have a little timer at the top and we get exponentially quicker. Zoom. That's level one. Level two. Oh, I fucked it. It's quite hard in like a good way, right? Because you obviously want to keep your speed up. But yeah, there you go. Um, so the one I'm current, what I was currently modeling was um. In here, it's gonna be like a little. And then I want to have like a banking turn down, so you jump into like a little scoop that scoops you round and then ends here. Or it does something over there. Maybe it ends over there. Maybe yeah, we could end over here. Um, whoops, ends over like here somewhere. But I want it to scoop you round. So that's what this is. Um, I'm just trying to get the shape of this right, and then I'll um, get the shape of this right afterwards. I have like, um, if I get my copy of my 10 by, yeah, it will, won't it? So the, the scale's a bit wrong at the moment, so if I uh, grab this. Scale that down. Obviously, I want it to be a bit bigger than it, but like how big is it now? It's just like one wide at the moment. Yeah, I'd like it to be like two wide. So probably a little bit bigger than this. Hmm. <laughs> My lead fucking made me this setup so I could like loft my splines easily easier. Absolute legend because I was having I don't know why but I just couldn't wrap my head around the fucking tool. I'll get him to show me properly at work tomorrow, but he uh, did me a bit of a solid. So if I refine this. Gonna be a dense boyo. I'll go in and like clean up the the madness afterwards, but Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a chunky boy. I mean, it's not done yet. There's still, um... Kind of... I know, it's weird. I'm still trying to work it out, right? Make it go up to lose momentum then down to speed up again. I did something like that over here. 
um, see here. But the um, like this one, I want it to be purely about speed. I want I want it. The reason I'm making this so specifically is because this is the quickest you can get in the game. Like this is almost you're running the length of the map, right? So I want to like just hit that with all of my speed and like I want to give it like a really interesting shape so the better people get at like hitting this the better I see what you mean like that so that kind of banks up Maybe we could do something like that. It's a very fun little tool to mess with this. Do you think, think something like that? Should we put that in and see what it looks like? We can still tweak this as well. I quite like that though. Let's copy that, convert it to an editable poly. Let's calm this down a little bit because it's a bit fucking mental at the moment, even by our standards. Oh, bless me. Thank you, Carl. 
and you eat dirt as well, and you eat say it, you always fucking such a cutie, honestly. Obviously, we got to chuck a sham for modifier on it. Don't forget where you work, kids. Don't forget where you've come, where you came from. How's your new job, Carl? They're treating you well. Does look pretty cold on it. I hope that fits. We'll make it fit. <laughs> Fucking don't even at me. Um, let's save selected. Yeah, I love it. It's going really well. Oh, I'm glad. How are you finding Cornwall? What's it like living down there? Actually fits perfectly with the front. It's almost like I planned it. Cornwall is very beautiful, but the weather is annoying as fuck. It'll be sunny and clear, then rain for 10 minutes straight, and then be sunny again. That's just England, bro. You're just living in England. Or is it, like, worse? I mean, you're a southerner anyway, so... I imagine you would normally be used to that kind of thing.
Well, I say we give this purple thing a go. I've never had anything quite like before. It's like a monsoon and calm, kind of weird. Oh, right. Oh, how do I find in CIG? I mean, I fucking love CIG. It's my home. Oh, we need to do something first. I'm just doing the collision stuff on my other monitor. One sec. Okay, we just flew through that. I wonder why that... Carl, why isn't my collision working? <laughs> Foxy. My own game toying with me. What? I have to head off now because I nearly start tomorrow. I'm glad you live in CRG. They definitely got. Oh, you're so cute. I am. I'm streaming tomorrow and the next day until this thing's done. Where's the fucking... I don't understand why this could... We'll ignore that, it's a feature. Um... Mesh collision as complex as simple. How do you do that? I've done that, haven't I? Show collision. Do I need to, like, tell it? I don't care how dirty the solution is. Type it in the top right. Oh. So that'll work. What? Why didn't it work? Or do I have to put its own mesh in? I think that'll work. Carl's pointing me in the right direction there. Yeah, there we go, we're off. Oh, shit. 
No way, that actually works so well. The shape of it just like makes it so nice to run on as well. I like how uh, I'm excited to see how people attempt to get around that. Right, see you later, Carl.
slightly thingy as well. Lighter than the bottom. The main one, it's like more of a level design thing than anything else. It's just so the player can like have a really good idea where where they want to be going. Like you can start and it's pretty clear to you that you know you can see the blue course you know what you're trying to do you can see the purple course you can see the green course it's just i don't know i quite like the um the the look
Alright, I think that does it for day one. Don't think that's a bad... A bad go of it really for day one, is it? I'm going to do a little bit of stuff off camera, like sorting out the finish lines and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, that level design work takes fucking forever. I mean, how long have I been? I literally just spent like three hours just placing things. But, it looks good. I do like the padded design. I also got over a lot of hurdles with just in general like how the fuck I was going to do it because I honestly had no real idea. I do like the two-toned look. But yeah. That about does it for today's stream, guys. Um, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll um, start putting in more obstacles and stuff and we'll be able to start setting some personal bests, hopefully, if I can... Um, wrap my head around this we're also going to put some walls around it as well and then put some lighting in as well so this will be like an indoor like arena basically um but yeah we're going to make these look less like cocks as well but that's not for now i'll uh yeah i'll catch you guys later um thank you for joining me yeah i guess i'll just end it <laughs> Let us.